Baltimore neighborhood where two young children were shot one week ago tonight is now a no shoot zone. The one year old is finally home recovering, but the two year old is still in critical condition. And a group of volunteers is supporting their families, collecting items of clothing, diapers, and toys for them. WMER 2 News' Erin McPherson met with the group this evening, and she joins us now live from Federal Hill. Erin. The man behind the no shoot zones tells me he was actually a shooter himself arrested and convicted and that's why he feels that he is the perfect person for this position. Now he says he knows he can't stop people from shooting, but he's hoping to make some neighborhoods a little safer. No shoot zones are seen all over Baltimore City. I can't tell you not to shoot, but I can say don't shoot here. Tyree Moorhead started this in 2015 spray painting signs where a shooting took place. Now there are 168 in a handful of cities. There's only been 10 reoccurring shootings after the paint went up. This one at the corner of Monroe and Ramsey was harder than the rest. This is where a one year old was shot in the leg, a two year old shot in the side and a mother shot in the neck. We are not allowing any more one and two year olds to be shot in Baltimore, Maryland. To help these families get through this difficult time, Moorhead collected toys and clothes for the little ones. This is a community effort right here. Pull, just pull the gifts out. One year old TJ was just released from the hospital. His aunt came to the gathering and said he's a strong, happy little boy. They're going to have all their different stuff to play with. We're going to keep going get anything you need. Two year old Chase is still fighting for his life. His mom recovering. She sent a message thanking everyone for their support and stressing the need for change. Just like we had drug free zones growing up, it needs to be no shoot zones. As these families heal, the community stands behind them. Chase and Todd, TJ's family, Lord God, and that you let them know that we're, we're in this fight together. Hope for peace. Hey, that's right. Hope for peace. On the other side of the city, dozens of people gathered to spread a similar message. <laughs> Spreading a message of peace to kick off ceasefire weekend. For 72 hours, nobody kill anybody. This is the Baltimore we want to see, where people are celebrating life and loving each other and having a good time. We are officially one day into ceasefire weekend, and we now know that there have been four people shot tonight. Now, there have not been any deaths yet, but four people have been shot. Ceasefire weekend ends on Sunday night. Reporting live from Federal Hill, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.